What's up and welcome to Boring Reviews. Today, Nick and I will be reacting to another... Wilty baby! I once accidentally bought a horse. That's the most terrible accent of all time. I didn't think it was too bad. Ugh. I was gonna like join in, but I don't do a very good British accent, so... I don't even know what it is. But no, I was like, let's see, can we do an Irish one? Go to the garage. <laughs> Sounds good to me. We go to the garden, pick up some flowers, and then we'll hop on the train. <laughs> Two different Irish accents. Here. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. They're shooting for me. Oh, man. This is the only one I know. <laughs> We're going to check out this one. I once actually bought a horse from huge request and demand. Demand's kind of a strong word, but I'll still use it. Demand. You guys were demanding it. Yeah. And not sure who's including this one. I'm not sure this young chap is, but we're going to find out. I'm sure David Mitchell's in it. If you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. I'm not sure if it's offensive at all, but every time I hear Sarah Milliken talk, I always think of Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the voice, not the looks. All right, here we go. I once accidentally bought a horse. Oh, I love these accidents. It's funny. You bought a what? A horse. A horse. Sorry, I missed the S. Um, <laughs> you claim that you once accidentally bought a horse. Am I right? You're right. Right. Fine. We're all clear. I love Under what accident. circumstances? What did you think you were buying? Um, I never thought I was buying anything. I thought I was <laughs> renting. <laughs> Did you think you were renting a horse? Yes. Right. So you, you paid to rent a horse, and then at the end, when you tried to return the horse, they said, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I've been trying to get rid of Psycho for years. <laughs> That's pretty much it. How long had you imagined that you were going to rent it for? Uh, we thought we were going to rent it for, like, 25 minutes. And did they charge... <laughs> It was in Bulgaria on holiday. OK, so what did it cost in local Bulgarian currency? What is the local Bulgarian currency? Uh... <laughs> it was... We're, we're gonna it lose. was 200 lev. Lev, L-E-V. I don't know how you pronounce it, but lev. 200 lev. 200 and how, Bulgarian. how much is that in, in sterling, roughly? Roughly at the time. About, at the time, I think it was at £90. Pounds. So you thought it was so a you... good deal? Ninety pounds for twenty-five minutes. For twenty-five minutes on a horse. But you said we thought we were going to rent it for twenty-five minutes. There was me and my friend. So you were. It was gonna a lads' holiday. We were eighteen. We thought we'd go horse riding. In Bulgaria. In Bulgaria. <laughs> Did you question the odd sort of time slots they were going for? I mean, guy... I've never been pony trekking, but I imagine they sort of rent you the horse for perhaps a couple of hours, well, the or, guy... or at least a solid half hour. <laughs> you get twenty-five minutes, and then the horse needs a break. For five minutes, and then something else And then you keep the horse forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never knew that. What happened when you tried to take it back? Um, the guy explained to us that... It, the guy was gone. The guy... <laughs> <laughs> the guy explained to us that he was gone. Never say that. There was two different guys. There was two yeah, guys. Look through me if you want to speak to my client. <laughs> There was guy A. Guy A. That's a Bulgarian name. It's very well known. <laughs> the most famous Bulgarian name. Yeah. Like, guy Dimitri. I think that. No, a like, guy A. <laughs> <laughs> and guy B. Right? right? We thought we were going horse riding and we were heading towards the place where you actually hire the horse. The, yeah. the official. <laughs> <laughs> the stables. Right? <laughs> He's making it up, and I'm on his team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a good job selling it. Patience, Brian. Come on, Brian. <laughs> we met a guy on the way who had a horse, and we thought he was doing that thing, no, you in Asda, when you've got a shopping trolley, and you're taking it back, and somebody else needs a trolley, and you say, I'll join that one. So we thought the guy was saying, I need to go all the way to the actual stable. I'm Fish from the stable. Yeah. So just hire this horse. That's what the guy said? Yeah. So we thought, all right, that there was a bit of a communication breakdown. Yeah. There was a Bulgarian guy trying to speak English and two Scottish guys trying to speak English. <laughs> so <laughs> we thought the guy had gave us the horse. 
to write and come back yeah. in 25 minutes. Were you minutes. not surprised? That, I mean, I've never been on holiday to Bulgaria, but I imagine that things would be a bit cheaper in Bulgaria than in Britain. Were you not surprised that it cost you the equivalent of £90 to hire a horse for 25 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> there's 25 minutes each, so there's two of us. Yeah. Right. So we chipped in for a horse. For called? 25 minutes each. But still, even if you thought you were going to get 25 minutes each, that's a lot, isn't it? Oh, it's an hour. You need to give the horse a break, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> Let's forget about the 25 yeah, minutes. Just forget about the horse. Forget about the horse. Yeah. That's absolutely, obviously bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you take the horse back. Guy B, who's the guy you met on the way to the stables... He's gone. He's, he's gone. gone. He's no gone. sign of him. No, no, he's gone. So you say to Guy A, well, we hired this as part of your not bothering to actually go to the stables but getting it a few hundred yards away scheme. <laughs> we hired this horse for 25 minutes at an extortionate rate. <laughs> Nevertheless, here it is. And what did he say? We went back to the place <laughs> where we picked up the horse. Oh, so not to the stable, no. but to the random we never got point the in the road. So you, bewilderedly, where has the mysterious man gone? <laughs> I would have thought that logically, when you were returning, having thought that he had come from the stable, but you'd been lucky not to have to walk to the stable before hiring it, you might nevertheless have thought, well, the stable's where it's got to go back to, yeah. rather than, well, Sodom, this is where we picked it up from. I'm not actually taking the stable. I'm going to stand here, 300 yards away from the stable, go, come over here! Point locals start waving, going, No! You keep! <laughs> Kevin, 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 look, look at me, look at me. You're taking the horse back. Look at me! <laughs> what happened next? Oh, man. Uh, Come on, Kevin. Come on! Right. So, where are we taking off from? You're taking the horse back. Say no. you, well, let's, let's go back to the start. <laughs> Kevin Bridges, for the love of God, <laughs> please tell us what happened. Right. We bought a horse. <laughs> we thought we'd rented the horse. We'd done the horse riding, took it back to the initial place we picked up the horse. Yes. Locals explained we'd went to a counterfeit horse guy. It wasn't the <laughs> official horse riding stable. <laughs> this was a counterfeit horse. <laughs> This wasn't a genuine horse. This was maybe two guys in a costume. That would explain the 25 minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can only do 25 minutes. The giveaway, the giveaway was after 25 minutes, I won't win. Oh. <laughs> right, let's crack on, lads. <laughs> so, David's team. What do you think? Truth or lie? Do you not think the guy to the right who said he's on my team and I think he's lying reminds you of um, Steven Tyler? Is A little his... bit. Yeah, I feel like he reminds bit. me of him. What do you think? I've been wrong every single time. I think he's lying or he's just really selling it as a lie. But what are you going to choose? Lie? Lie. See, this is tough because this could be a real situation and he's yes. doing all, either purposely or not on purpose, a horrible job explaining it and selling it. But that's kind of what you'd have to do. You'd have to like be very wishy-washy yes. about it and very vague about the details. Against my better judgment, I'm going to say it's true just because everyone else is convinced of the lie. But I think they're going to say lie and they're probably right. Once again, I'm going to try to be smarter than the room. I've been wrong every so time. So, one of us is going to be right. This mm -hmm. might be your first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the trouble with this game is it plays tricks with your mind. <laughs> but I don't think it's true. You don't really it's got to be, hasn't it's it? It's got to, got to be a lie. It's got to be a it's lie. Got, yeah, yeah. saying it's a lie. Right, so here we go. This it really is. is the moment. This is more than any other episode I've done of this show. <laughs> this is the moment we waited for. <laughs> Kevin Bridges, is it true or is it a lie? It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Good at it. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's really good at it.
Yeah. It's not that you suck, because I was. I suck at that. That was well, and I, I was knew going back it. And forth. I knew it. The minute he said um, counterfeit, I thought that yeah, was I a hear random, the rest of that story. right? But I was like, that's such a random detail to add at the very end there that you didn't bring up before, unless it slipped. I don't know. Well, I okay. Love this show 100%. Love reacting to this show. We're going to react to it until no one wants us to anymore. But I am a little disappointed that he wasn't able to finish his explanation. And there yeah. was a lot of laughter, so you can't really control that. No. The audience was can't. loving it. The other guys were, there was just too many jokes to tell. And I get yes. that. But I wanted to hear the rest because he talked about that counterfeit. I thought he was going to say, like, it wasn't their horse to, to rent out. They, they just stole the horse. Yes. Got some quick money. Pieced out, yes. and then they're stuck here with this horse. Like, what do we do? That's what I'm thinking. By with the counterfeit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But <laughs> those jokes about a guy, like what a guy in a horse suit. That's why they did 25 minutes for a little break. All right, let's keep going. All right. But it also makes much. sense why it'd only be 90 pounds because I'm gonna assume that 90 pounds is close to like 100 US dollars. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but it's nothing close to what you would pay for a horse. If you're no. going to buy a horse, you're spending Unless thousands you stole it of dollars. And you want any money you but can. But that's what I'm saying. That's what would make sense. Yeah. And, yeah. That's or if excessive. it was an old horse. Not to cut you off, but we, we have friends that at once, they bought a horse. They got it really, really cheap. They basically got it for free. And they only kept it for a few months because they realized how expensive the upkeep is. Yep. Yep. So maybe that was someone just like, let's just get rid of the horse. and get 90 bucks out of it. Let's get out of here. Could be. I just think, I, I think that it was probably stolen and then probably sold to him. Yeah. Um, and I could see why he would think that that was an hour-long ride. It's an expensive hour-long ride, but I mean, it's not that much expensive. I, I could... That's expensive. Yeah. I How much say, did we pay when we went the horseback riding with all kids? I mean, the kids and us, so all five of us. All I know is that an hour and a half ride that we're taking this summer with a bunch of us is $55 for an hour and a half ride. Per person? Per person. That's a lot. Didn't we spend like only 20 or 25 per person on our hour ride? Could be. Maybe 30. Anyways, we're, we're, bought, we're getting stuck on the details. Yeah. That was absolutely hilarious. Like you said, love his accent. I love the host. Love I mean, to say this forever, but this, usually you have like your host with your panel of different people. There's different shows like that. It's kind of worthless. This guy's awesome. He always adds something. He doesn't try to take over. He has mm -hmm. great, insightful things, fine things to say. I don't know what his name is. Does a great job. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you thought about our reaction to this episode this clip i should say please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time goodbye